Hi there. I've been modelling the um, platonic solids in AutoCAD, and um, these this is how they nest together. On the outside there, you can see the icosahedron, side length of 1.618 being phi. Um, that's the cyan colour. Going inwards, we have the dodecahedron with the magenta, side length of 0.618 being the uh, square root of phi. Then you can see the blue, which is the cube, side length 1, and how that's spinning kind of on its on its point. Now there's three lines, of, sorry, four lines that uh, pass through the opposite points of the cube. So there's four axes. They're in green, and they uh, they each point to one of the points of the two tetrahedron that sit inside the cube. They're in red. Then within all that, so pointing to the faces of each uh, each side of the cube, sits the the yellow octahedron, and so it's spinning on one of its triangular faces there. And what I've found is that if you take the inverse going down from the if you continue the lines of the dodecahedron out, you get the icosahedron, which is how you get the, the outer one. The inner one, you go down, and the side length there becomes the inverse of the square of phi, I mean 0.382, thereabouts. And you can also see that right in there, the tiny one inside the uh, it fits perfectly inside the octahedron which is beautiful uh, the tetrahedrons have a side length of square root of two because they are going across the the face of the cube using Pythagoras um, also the green lines are the square root of three going to the opposite points of the of the cube passing through the center of it so this is how they all nest together so of course within the smaller one the smaller tet uh, icosahedron that is it just begins again and likewise on the outside of that it also keeps going outwards now looking at it different angles that's just different angles of uh, looking front on side on so forth from the top it looks pretty much the same. And then um, looking at it from an isometric point of view. Thanks for watching.